Hi, I'm Carissa Beal, and today we're going to be hitching with Nashville's former mayor, Carl Dean. Hello, Mayor Carissa, Dean. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, good to see you. Yes, well, thank you. Thanks for being with us today. We're happy thank to do it. <laughs> thank you for hitching a ride, tracking your ride, and getting rewarded for it well, today, actually. Do you know what? You're a really neat guy. Can you tell me briefly how you got to where you are today? Well, I'm the former mayor of Nashville, and right. I was elected mayor in 2007 and ran on a platform where I'd concentrate on public education, public safety, and economic development. Served from 07 to 15. And it's just, did you always know that you wanted to be um, around politics and become a mayor, or is that something you just fell upon? Well, I was always interested in politics, and uh, I served the city in a couple capacities as the city's director of law and as the city's public defender, and um, felt that I had something to offer, and so when the chance came, I, I ran for mayor back in 07. There 07. you go. So you've been a busy man. Yeah. And based on your experience, what's the commute into Nashville like? Well, it depends what time you go, and it depends how you go, but certainly, given the city's growth, uh, it's estimated that Nashville grows by about 80 people a day, uh, that it's getting more, uh, the commute gets longer, I think, for everyone. Especially right out here on Hillsboro. Hillsboro's a popular, popular street. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. In your opinion, what are some of the ways that the Nashville community uh, could begin helping alleviate this traffic? I think we need to look at all forms of transit, um, which would include, um, you know, making the city more walkable, uh, making it more bikeable. I think uh, rideshare programs are, are a great idea. I think having, um, uh, certainly looking at mass transit is something mm -hmm. we need to be doing and we are doing. Now. Are you up for a little game to make the ride a little bit more fun? Sure. Yeah? Have you ever played Bean Boozled? I have not played Bean Boozled. So I've got some trivia questions for you if you get them right. I have to eat a jelly bean. If you get them wrong, you have to eat the jelly bean. It sounds mm -hmm. harmless, right? It sounds harmless. Um, I like jelly beans. Good. Right, so, for example, here's a question. What is Tennessee's state bird? The mockingbird. All right, so give me the bean. <laughs> so here's the truth or dare. Is it a yeah, sour milk or? I'm just going for it. What do you got? Coconut. All right. Starting off strong. All right, all right. This one's a little bit harder. Well, might not be. Roughly, how many miles of public roads are there in Tennessee? I'd say around 100,000 or that area. You are very close. It's 95. So what does that mean? mean in terms get, of the jelly beans. It means you get to pull out another bean. Oh, I got the variety of the Oh, take your pick. Whichever color looks appealing. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not taking the white one because I think you've gotten the... But you already think I've had the coconut? Oh, you just, you just went for it. Yeah, I don't think that was peach. <laughs> I can't say I know what the other one tastes like, but... You get to ask me a question if you want. Do you have a question you want to ask me? Uh, trivia question? Sure. In 1967, who won the American League Triple Crown? And he was the last player to win the Triple Crown up until Miguel Cabrera, who won it just recently. I have no idea. Carl Yastrzemski. I never would have gotten that. <laughs> I wasn't even, I, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. That wasn't even on the tip Hall of my of tongue. Hall of Famer. All right, give me one of these. I'm going to take this brown one, and it's either canned dog food or oh, um, chocolate. <laughs> I think it was canned dog food. I believe it was canned dog food, yes. Yes, I do. What percentage of Tennessee commuters carpool to work? I would guess somewhere, say, eight. I don't even know if I can let you eat a bean it was nine nine percent but that was very close which uh, one which one you taking pale yellow one pale here. yellow i don't know i might have taken white pale yellow 
Uh, was it rotten egg or buttered popcorn or moldy? Buttered popcorn. There. What? Really? Yep. That's amazing. All right. Driving on deficient roads costs Tennessee drivers how much annually in the form of additional vehicle operating cost, congested related delays, and traffic crashes? Uh, five. Six. Hmm. How do you feel about that? Should we both, we'll have, we'll both have one more beat. One more, okay. And I'll do it too because you know what, those last two you can answers. Have the, you can have the white one. Oh, thank you so much. Because <laughs> I don't know what that will be. Because you're pretty sure it's spoiled milk, that's no, why. Oh, I got lawn clipping. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you got coconut again. <laughs>